Will Blue Origin overtake SpaceX in producing reused rockets? Let's go back a few decades when rockets were developed for the first time ever. The first rocket that could take off high enough to get into space was the V-2 rocket made by Germany in 1942. But since there was no purpose or goal to send them to space back then, it wasn't until 1957 that the very first rocket was sent outside Earth. And that was done by Russia. Ever since that day, rockets were essentially used as disposable equipment. Once they set off on their journey, they were considered useless, and with that, the millions of dollars that would go into their production. What if we could actually reuse these rockets? Again and again. That is exactly what SpaceX and Blue Origin have been up to, and their plans are quite literally out of this world. The question is, will Blue Origin overtake SpaceX in producing reusable rockets? The reason SpaceX and Blue Origin want to reuse rockets is because by doing that, they can cut the cost of a rocket launch. That makes the entire process cheaper, which means that it could become cheap enough that a regular person could pay good money and take a trip to space in one of them. Understandably, that would result in massive financial opportunities for both. I'm sure you all know that Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk are also the richest and the second richest people on Earth right now. They also happen to be in a competition against each other as both companies in question are essentially becoming rivals with very similar goals. For instance, the recent collaborations between NASA and SpaceX have granted SpaceX a lot more credibility. It is no secret that securing a deal with NASA would go a long way for them. Before these companies entered the market, space travel had always been strictly restricted to government agencies. This was maybe because no one to date has had the sheer amount of resources and money available to make it possible. Well, at least until Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos entered the scenario. Quite recently, both Blue Origin and SpaceX entered a bid with NASA to land astronauts on the moon. The competition for the contracts was viewed as a war between billionaires between Mr. Musk and Mr. Bezos. A third company, Dynetics, which is a defense contractor in Huntsville, was also in the race for this contract. Previously, NASA would select two companies to provide services to the International Space Station. However, this time, the idea was for NASA to pick one. SpaceX ended up winning the bid, but that only gives you a small glimpse as to which company is excelling more amongst these two. There are far more factors at play, but getting on top of the comparison really helps us understand why Blue Origin may not be able to get ahead of SpaceX when it comes to reusable rockets. The reason is that the rise of SpaceX has been much steeper than Blue Origin. Jeff Bezos founded Blue Origin as early as 2000, while SpaceX was only founded in 2010. Despite getting that huge of a head start, SpaceX doesn't seem to have left Mr. Bezos a lot of breathing space. To date, SpaceX has launched more than 130 missions. Blue Origin has only launched a total of 15 missions, all of which were suborbital test missions. This may be in part because SpaceX is a publicly traded company valued at around $74 billion. This alone can give any business access to a lot more money than would be otherwise possible. Bezos, on the other hand, has kept Blue Origin private. Despite being under the control of the richest man on Earth, the limitation of resources and money is quite clear when it comes to Blue Origin. It won't be wrong to say that reusable rockets are the only place where Blue Origin is actually giving a tough time to its rival SpaceX. This is partly because SpaceX has a number of other ambitious plans which Blue Origin does not seem to want to compete with. For instance, you must have heard about Elon Musk attempting to breathe life into the idea of living on Mars. Blue Origin may not have much interest in those plans, but when it comes to the idea of reusing a rocket, both companies seem to be highly interested. This is because, for decades, we have been dumping rockets after a single use, even though they have cost us tens of millions of dollars to build. This was a huge problem, and getting around this problem meant that an entirely new industry could be founded. Jeff Bezos says that not being able to reuse rockets is exactly like flying a 747 across your country once, after which you just throw the plane away. Even Elon Musk has shared a very interesting and similar comparison. He says that discarding these rockets is like attaching millions of dollars to a pallet which you fly away, but instead of attaching a parachute to it, you let it shred on its way back down. Clearly, both of them see this as a huge opportunity. Instead, they're already in the business, so not doing something like this is somewhat of a wasted opportunity for both companies. It may surprise you to learn that it was Blue Origin that was first able to re-land a rocket that it had sent into space. New Shepard, the first suborbital rocket, was launched into space in November 2015. After reaching more than 100 kilometers of altitude in outer space, the New Shepard rocket had successfully performed a vertical soft landing. This was the first time a suborbital booster rocket had come back from space to conduct a successful vertical landing. 
SpaceX successfully landed one of its Falcon 9 rockets post-launch in December 2015 for the first time as well. This was only a month after Blue Origin did it. So where does that put us today in this race of reusable rockets? To answer that, you need to understand what the goal of each company is when they're trying to enter the race of reusable rockets. SpaceX's plan with reusing rockets are incredibly more versatile and powerful than what Blue Origin is planning. Of course, both companies plan to develop this technology to perfection to get commercial use out of it in the future. But Blue Origin's plans are limited, and the scope of that use is very different in both cases. You'll find out how in a while. Let's start with Elon Musk's plans for reusable rockets. What he's hoping for is that as the technology is tested, improved, and built on, the cost of these rockets can be decreased by 1,000-fold. In fact, eventually, the goal is to reduce the cost by 10,000 times. Once this is made possible, SpaceX could actually offer commercial tickets to anyone who is interested in taking a trip to the Red Planet. And if the costs are able to be reduced to that extent, then it would only cost a mere $200,000 for that trip. This may appear like quite a hefty fee for an adventure like that, but the truth is that humanity has come a long way. Using non-reusable rockets, for example, would have never allowed any company in the world to offer these flights on a commercial basis. The whole program would be too expensive for any company to initiate. So, if Blue Origin does not have the same goals, what exactly does it plan to do? You may have heard the news about Jeff Bezos taking a flight into space last week. With this move, he gained the public's trust by showing that his rockets were safe enough that he felt comfortable riding in them himself. But unlike SpaceX, Bezos does not intend to offer flights to Mars. That's because these rockets have not been powerful enough to do something like that. Blue Origin's rocket wasn't powerful enough to put a spacecraft or even satellites into orbit. That's because something like that requires around 1,000 times more energy. How exactly is Blue Origin planning to make money off these reusable rockets if they can't reach the spaceships or even put their own satellites into space? Well, Bezos says that the company's ultimate aim is to make it possible for millions of people to work and live in space someday, as if it were no big deal. Formally, Blue Origin believes that humanity must explore, expand, and find new energy and material resources. This will allow it to move entire industries from Earth into space. However, the current plan is to sell tickets to adventurous passengers who are passionate about space. During these trips, these people will be able to experience zero gravity for a couple of minutes as they fall back down to Earth. In other words, the reusable rocket in Blue Origins will only travel 100 kilometers from the Earth, which is the exact point where space starts and freefall can be experienced. After four minutes, it will return to Earth, with the whole experience lasting about 10 minutes. So, will Blue Origin overtake SpaceX in producing reused rockets? For a while, perhaps. At the moment, people already have the option to buy a ticket in Blue Origin's rocket and experience four minutes of outer space. However, once SpaceX is finally able to make travel to Mars accessible, it is bound to dominate the industry of reusable rockets. Would you be willing to pay good money to experience a trip on one of Blue Origin's suborbital flights? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching, take care, and have a great day.